You are live. It says we are. It says we are. But we shall see. It'll pop up. Oh, I got to be in live chat. Rookie move, Alex. Rookie move, Alex. Let me see if I am. Whoops. You got my picture with my red lipstick for Christmas the, in the gallery, uh, in your gallery. Tippy Winks did that. Hey, everybody. I see y'all now. Hey, Maria. Hey, how you everybody. Hey, Sally. Hey, everyone. I got the Florida crew with me today. Hey, Florida. Pam. <laughs> hey, Larry. Hey, Abby. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Mama Jay. They are so sweet. Danny's so sweet. She always comes to everybody's sales. Hi, Deidre. <gasps> hey, Danny. I know. How are you doing? <laughs> Oh, hi, Danny. Danny's in here? Yeah. Okay. She said, another reason not to go do laundry. <laughs> hi, fat birds. Hi, Danny. Oh, yeah. I was just talking about him the other day. I was like, he's a good kid. I like him. Yeah, I do too. Hey, Sue. Hey, Tom. Hey, Bridget. Oh, good. Humbled in him. She's got her, well, Sarah Jo. She's got her um, fairy lamp lit up. Oh, that's so cute. I love fairy lights. Mm-hmm. Hey, Logan. It's good to see you, darling. I'm looking down, you guys, because I can't see the comments like normal. Yeah. So I'm looking at I can't. Oh, I can too over here. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be able to because you're the host. Oh, yeah. I can't. Oh, there they are. Hey, LaDonna. Hello. Oh, bronchitis. No. But you know what? Your fingers aren't sick, so you can shop from bed. There you go. Hey, Sandy. Hey, baby one and baby two. <laughs> oh, honey, I am too. I'm over the moon about that mystery box. I won a mystery box from Fat Bird Finds last night, and mm -hmm. I have been trying for a year. And it, I, I mean, it's I'm never even know we're close, you know, mm -hmm. never even know we're close to it. Well, that's I'm awesome. Hey, Decorn Moore. I know we've been praying for D. Bless her heart. Yeah. Hey, Christy Champ. Hey, was Peterson in here? I didn't say hi to Peterson. Yeah, Peterson. Hey, she is. <laughs> hey LJ and Cher. Hi, Trish. You see which rock? rock. Oh, croc. I thought she said a rock. I'm, I do actually have a rock. I'm like, Virginia, I don't know how you're seeing this on my table. <laughs> let me tell you something. She's got some good eyes. Oh, y'all, and somebody, who was it? Um, I think it was Nancy at this overstuffed house. She said that Belinda Carroll had had a light stroke. She was in her sale. When was her sales? Friday night after Fat Bird Finds, right? Wait. Miss Nancy, this overstuffed house? I think so. Okay. Either... Either Belinda had typed something funny or something. And you know how sometimes Wendy Milton's or somebody's cat will walk across the yeah, yeah. board and it'll type funny stuff. But Nancy wouldn't let it go. I mean, she, and a good thing she did because she checked up on Belinda and come to find out that she had had a mild stroke. Oh, my God. So we need to remember to pray for her, too. Hey, Chicago lady. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Jan. Um, let's see. Wait, uh, antiques from Karen. Janet says she talked to Belinda today and she's doing good. She's oh, good. good, 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 good. That's scary. You just never know. Let me tell you this story from like way freaking back. This takes me back like, I think I had been doing YouTube videos for maybe two years. So this is a long time ago now. Well, in the 
the crafting communities, all these little communities have the people that you kind of know who they are within the different communities, you know? So mm -hmm. like other than just like um, thrifting videos or antique videos or whatever, I, wa I watch other things and I know who like the certain crafters and stuff are. Right. Well, there was, she wasn't like a, like a bigger channel or anything. She was, um, you know, small, like we were at the time. Um, but she was a lady, she lived in, I remember she lived in Washington state. I can't remember her YouTube name now. That's, it's a shame, but it's been so long now, um, that she was, she was always around and friendly and like talking in the chat and stuff like that. And you know how, like we can be friendly and talk like, I like, I know who Chicago lady is, but I don't necessarily talk to Chicago lady on a personal level every single day. That's right. kind of how it was with her. Like when we saw each other in like a public forum or something like that, we're like, Hey, or she'd leave nice comments. I'd leave comments, comment, but we didn't like call each other on the phone or anything like that. Right. So when she kind of wasn't around, like you guys were looking for Debbie, for Deb, for Debbie Vital. What? Oh my gosh. No. Sorry. Like, I, clicked you wrong, I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, I'm like, what'd you read? Well, anyways, my, my point is you guys, you all get to kind of know each other. You know, like when someone's been away for a while, right? right and right. even though you don't necessarily talk to them on the daily, you still get concerned because, you know, we're human and crap happens, you know? So this lady... Uh, she hadn't been around for a little while and everyone was just like, Hey, have you heard from her? No. Hey, have you heard from her? Well, one of her subscribers she had um, met or was pretty friendly with that lived pretty close to her and was able to check on her that way. And like, you know, to like, like go there or something like that, or just lived close enough to know what was, what was going on. Well, it turns out, and this is and this is kind of sad, but it turns out that we hadn't heard from her because her husband set her and her daughter on fire in the middle of the night. He killed them. He burned down their house. He went into the woods and he hid in like a bunker that he created. And then he killed himself there. And we just could not believe it because she was there one day doing crafts. And the next day, her and her daughter was that gone. Is crazy awful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happened a while ago. Um, it was in, like I said, it was in Washington State. I can't remember the city now, but as soon as I was told that information, I looked it up and I watched the news like channel talk about it, and it was horrible. It was so oh sad. Oh my word! Yep. That is crazy. Yeah, you just, you never know. So when no, you're you like, don't. hey, what's going on with them? What's going on with them? Like, people are human. You know? Right. Yeah, it's a good thing that, I mean, because it's a good thing we've got this community because that way, you know, you can check up on each other mm -hmm. and find out, you know, and right. make sure everybody's okay. What would, I don't, I never know what would bring somebody to that point. That. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, he was a little Looney Tunes. No doubt. A lot. Yeah, he just, and had, no telling how long he had planned that to have that bunker ready and everything. Exactly. He he Not, her, he set them on fire while they slept. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Delbert. Hey, Chicago lady. Hey, Judy Scallop. Sue. Oh, you have all kinds of friends in here. Yeah. Lisa. LJ. Patricia. <laughs> no, I don't, know, Virginia. I don't think. Let's hope that people don't just wake up and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dana. Hey, Tiger. Okay, let's say you want to get started. You, you go first, Alex. Well, do you want to tell them like about your giveaways and your shipping oh, okay, and yes. all that kind of stuff? And like okay. where you're shipping from and. I have got mostly vintage Christmas tonight. And no. I Why are you going to have me? I can't bid. I can't make you offers. I'm shipping from uh, Alabama. And I've got 25, 25 items. But I've got about one, two, three, four, about seven offer ups. So 
but I can't help it. I just couldn't help it because I couldn't make my mind up about what to what to put in the sale tonight. So it, it is what it is. Hey, Stephanie. But um, I've also got, let's see, I've got two giveaways. And people who have been to my sale before know how the giveaways work. But I just, uh, I write down a number and I give it to Kelly. And then when I say start, you just put in, you know, all kind of numbers. Everybody can put in a number of the choice, but I give you a range. And whoever is the first one to put in the number that I wrote down and gave Kelly wins whatever that prize is for the night. And um, let's say what else. Oh, I've got one uh, vintage Christmas mystery box that I'm going to do as I offer up tonight. And it's going to be uh, free shipping for whoever wins that. I'm not going to charge you any shipping on the vintage Christmas mystery box. Girl. And I guess that's. I guess that's it. And Kelly Michelle, she's my daughter, and she is um she helps me write down things. Oh, and we give a we do a giveaway for free shipping at the end of my sales. And um we'll do that tonight too. And everybody who makes a purchase, Kelly writes their name down and puts it in my Tupperware bowl. And then at the end of the night, we draw a name out, and whoever name we draw gets free shipping on there. Well, aren't you just Sweet oh, yes. yes, I'm I'm just all about it. Hey Miss Leonda. So that's okay. my spiel. Okay, well, I'm shipping from Florida. So be mindful of that when you are purchasing. Just keep that in mind of where you live in comparison to me. Um, shipping is not included. You what I need from you if you haven't bought from me before. I need you to send your information over to my email. My email is all letters, chapter2vintage at gmail.com. I need your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. That is how I will send you an invoice is via PayPal. I'll get all your stuff wrapped up. I'll weigh and measure your box and get you your invoice with the shipping so there's that part. And then I have a giveaway as well. So if you buy something this evening, um, Aaron, he's in the background. He's going to put your name in my pumpkin bucket and um, just one. So if you, all you have to do is buy one thing. He puts your name in the bucket and at the end, so you have to stick around until the end, I will call the name for a winner. Now I have one item. Normally we do a choice. We have two things, but this evening we have one thing. Um, because Miss Pamela is giving something away as well. So, um, yeah, did I touch on everything? Did I forget everything? Uh, anything? Somebody just asked for my email. Somebody just asked for my email and I put it in there. But when uh, we start showing our things, I'm going to put us each on a solo window and our emails will show up under us in our solo window when we make the window big. You remembered how to do the banner? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> how you gonna do that then i don't know but i already got my butt out of here one time so you want me to try all right no. i see the thing that says banner alex i see that yes and you want so like the one that says like ticking like the ticking banner or something examples of four banners okay i see a ticker right so then what i do is I'll type out both emails, but in the center of us two, because it doesn't want to ever space them out ever, 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 ever. It'll stick them together. It'll be one long, but old email. So put some like heart emojis or something separating mine and yours email. Because my, when I do it, even though I could put 50 space, 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 it does never and never like spaces them out properly. So put an emoji in between it. I'm yeah, going. like a few hearts or something to make it separate. Hey, everybody. Hey, D, how are you feeling? Okay. Uh, okay, I think I did it. <laughs> but I don't know if it's not going. Hey, Deanna. 
I don't see it going anywhere, though. I think hey, you'd have Sally. to set it. Sally Hasty. Oh, crap. Hey, Sally. Miss Sue Spezio. Oh, okay. you know, it, I mean, if that doesn't work, it's fine. Every once in a while. There you go. Huh? My see how it separated it? Okay, gotcha. Because if that's not there, you can press press space like 50 times and it will jumble our information together. It doesn't work. Well, aren't you smart? Oh, okay. I see. Aaron tells me that all the time. <laughs> hey, Irene. Hey, Robin. Okay. Now, let me get... Okay. This one right here, I think it's going to make you big. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Yes. Everybody uh -huh. praise me because y'all know it takes a village. To get me to do oh, so someone's saying that my email is wrong let me look at it oh, oh there's no co oh well hang I on I everyone gets that. that mixed up for whatever Never. reason when i was creating the email it wouldn't let me put the co part so just edit. edit that little snippet out like delete that backspace blah 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 save it so if you want i can do a flat price item while you're working no, look there, look there. You got it, girl. Listen. You have Hey, Danny. Kelly just loves Alex and Danny. Aww. Okay. Let's see. All right. I need to make you big. Solo layout. That's what I need, ain't it, Alex? <laughs> um, the one, just the the big one. I don't oh, it worked. Hey, book. You don't need any more explanation. Hey, book. <laughs> Are we working? Yes, we're working. Okay. So I have a flat price item. I have quite a few, Miss Pamela. I don't know how many offer ups you have. I only have a one, two. I only have two offer ups. Three, two, three. Are you guys proud of me? Oh, we have <gasps> okay. So my first flat price item is this beautiful Fenton. Tulip, it's like a single votive type holder. Or you could do like Q-tips or whatever in your bathroom or cotton balls or something because it's pretty big. And it says Fenton there on the bottom and it's the iridescent, beautiful little tulip flower. This one, this guy's $14 and it's number 33. $14, number 33. And I didn't. Oh, he left me a marker. <laughs> I got it. Oh, he left me a marker. Oh, I love, I love Vintage 66. Thank you very much. I'm going to write your name down. <laughs> Am I keeping up with Alex? Thank you. No. Okay, okay Miss Pamela, make your head big. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, y'all. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. My first item is. Yes. Oh crap. Did I have <laughs> I just love you. Y'all, this this uh this strain yard, y'all know is it you know, I it's all I can do when I when I'm not having these technical difficulties. My first item is this tacky plastic gold glitter Merry Christmas sign. Oh, I love that. With the um it's got the little flocked poinsettia, the little plastic, and it's got this plastic grid thing on the back of it. Let me see if I'm, yeah, say I'm off like this camera. It's just the plastic grid back there, and then it's all plastic. But usually when I find these, I mean, I don't find that many, but usually all this glitter's gone off of it. But this one's got all of the glitter on it, and it's really, really pretty. Really shiny and pretty. And it's got the two little hanger things. See those little holes? That's what's meant to hang it, to hang it back, <laughs> yes. But anyway, this little um, piece of vintage tacky plastic Christmas is $20 and it's number two. $20 number two. That's awesome. Just send it to my house. <laughs> I picked it to me. All right. Oh, a few people like that. Thank you, Trisha. Trisha got that. Oh, cute fire fuzzy. Okay, 
Oh, we're back. I should have told Miss Diane that that she should come over here because I have some pottery and she likes pottery. Okay, listen. Aww. So, um, Peterson, if she can do the um, start and stop for me type of thing like she does in the sales typically. Sure. That would be fantastical. So, okay. You guys won't believe this. Mom and I went out shopping today. And look at what we found. <gasps> look how giant that is. That's huge. Oh, my gosh. And she has her, it says, Matryoshka. And it has a bunch of Russian words, letters down there. She's going to start... She's going to start at $40. She, oh, there she is. She's a big one. She's got this piece. And then she's got this piece. And then this piece. And then this piece. And then this piece. Look, it's a baby. <laughs> but you know what? Nope, that's it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine noggins on the table. <gasps> There's nine of them. All right, so Humbledon Ham is at $40. Cool. Anyone else? I'm going to pull my inner, inner Amanda. I'm looking for 41. Anyone have 41? 41 dollars. <laughs> Get it, Alex. <laughs> Come on. Don't be shy now. <laughs> Aaron says, Pamela Hammett, 442 sold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have Ragdoll. Wait, hold on. Nope, nope. Oh. Ragdoll sales, eBay seller is at 60. I'm trying to put all these little bits back together, so I'll make sure I don't lose them. What are we at? I know, Miss Pamela, I know it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I can dream now. Hey, Fat Boy Farms. What are we at? What are we at? I know, it's like, mm, I know, it's a nice one. Yes, I am. Okay, so we're at $60. You guys, let us know if you're out. Oh, Pamela's at 65. Remember, just stay out if you're out. It helps the stuff go a little faster. I'm trying to put all these guys back together. And there's no, like, I didn't see anything that matters. Sometimes their wood is split. Nope. Or sometimes they're missing colors. But they're in such good shape. Okay, Humbled and Him is out. Rag Dog, Rag Doll is at 70. If it happens to get to 100, it's $10 increments. You should be doing $5 increments right now since it's over 50. I don't think I said that out loud. I said it in my head. Does that count? <laughs> Probably doesn't. Okay, so Pamela's out. Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna start counting down. So seventy dollars going once. Seventy dollars going twice. Okay, I'm gonna say sold and we'll wait for Peterson's sold mark and whoever's above that with the highest offer gets the item and eh, I was trying okay I see stop so I don't think anyone else made an offer it is it is sold to ragdoll sales eBay seller for $70 Woo -hoo! that is number 47 ragdoll for you to keep um, track Thank you very much, and I'm writing your in, your name and stuff down right now. Hey, Vintage Conversation. 
Okay, make your head big now, not mine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all again. Okay, my next item is this real pretty vintage. It's a it's Lefton. Uh, it's got the little sticker on there. And the date stamp says that this was from January of 1963. Did you add their name, babe? And it's just okay. beautiful. Oh. Sorry, I was making sure Aaron added their names to the... Thing. Oh, you're fine, honey. Lord to, to, my, to the giveaway. It's got beautiful green bells with um gold painting. It's an it's was made for an ashtray. Of course, you can see the little divots right there and right here. But you could use it for an appetizer tray, a little tidbit tray, anything, you know? And all the the painting and everything is so good on it. Now there is crazing you know all through it due to the age but you know that doesn't bother me any. but it, and it's pretty big you know and the beautiful little left -hand tray with the green bells in it is twelve dollars and it's number seven twelve dollars number seven hey lori hey pam avery for Cindy's Lilacs. For Cindy's Lilacs. Thank you, honey. Hi, Auntie Christy. Hey, Book. Hey, Joel. What number was that, Kelly? Uh, number seven. For Cindy. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Lord, I always forget about poor old Alex over here. Alex. You're fine. Don't worry. For Cindy. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay, I have a cat. I have, so I, I saw one of these when we were, when we were shopping with Danny and I'm watching, I was in the process of editing my video, which by the way, Danny has so much music. It's really irritating me. I was telling Aaron, I got to be with Danny and I can't even hear her talk because of the music in the store. But anyways, I saw one of these cats and I didn't grab it there. So I'm very happy. I found another one today of these cool blue spongy cats. I don't know if that's a sponge. It might be a kind of sponge wear. Sorry if you hear Gump hacking back there. That's the life of the chapter two house. But anyways, this guy is really neat. I don't have my ruler. He's probably about 10 inches tall. He's $15 and it's number 28. $15, number 28. Oh, Margaret Albers. Thank you. Here, I'll give you the right size. Erin just sent me. Oh, I was a good guess, Erin. It's 10 inches. I did it. <laughs> good guess, girl. Okay, number 28, I have Margaret Albers. Thank you, Margaret. I'm going to write your name down, and Erin's entering your name into the giveaway. Oh, Kelly, are you doing our giveaway? I mean, you, you putting our names in? I got it. You got it going out. Look here. Now, Lord, the weather forecast is up on my chat. Hold on. <laughs> Hang on just a second. Let me there? see what I'm doing. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, this is an offer up, and it's starting at $20. Hey, Randy. Randy. Did it, did it go in there? Yeah, there it is. Okay. And it is for this set of vintage mid-century Lucite candles. They both have their wicks. I mean, you Ooh, know, the like wicks because you don't burn them. No. But they have the gold flecks in them. They both have their little um, protective, you know, the little things that holds them in the candles, the candle holders. <laughs> And they even still have the do not ignite for decorative purpose only stickers on them. And they are, like I said, they're 12 inches tall and they're in absolutely gorgeous condition. You have Auntie Christie at 45. They yes. got the, um, see this thing being backwards is just messing with me it's every time. Well, that is at 50. And the gold flakes are, I mean, it's really big gold flakes floating through these. Auntie Christie's out. Thank, Thank you, Auntie Christie. But they're just so, so pretty. 
And I mean, it's full of those flakes. I guess it's been a while since I've had a pair of these because I didn't realize how many flakes yeah, there were. Avery is at 55. <clears throat> hey, Carrie, I don't think I said hi to you and, and Wendy. Hey, Carrie. Oh, hello. I'm just seeing y'all now. And Vintage and Vino. I don't think I said hello to them. Oh, and hey, Vintage and Vino, yeah. Judy's at $60. Oh, and Jamie, hey, and Susical. It does look like gold slugger, ain't you, Christy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pam Avery, thank you. Thanks, Pam. Hey, Angela. Hey, Susan. Hey, Angela. Hey, Cindy Neal. And Miss Sally Costa coming in. Hey. Hey, Sally. Yeah, hello. Look, look. Right. Oh, that's my lucky number right there. You have 222 uh, watchers, viewers. That's the most we've ever had, isn't it, Kelly? Um, I think so. I can't. I think we're just sneaking up on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all sneak right on in, baby. All right. So how good is Miss Judy Scalette at 60? Okay, so if there's no further interest past Miss Judy, uh, if anybody else is interested, or if you're out, just go ahead and type out. Are you doing the thing? Mm -hmm. So we're going to say going once at Miss Judy. Judy Scalette at 60. Judy Scalette at 60. Going twice to Judy at 60. And we're going to say sold to Judy for $60. Thank you so much, Judy. And thank you, everybody else who bid for us, too. Oh, and hey, New England Thrifter. Hey, Angela Marksberry. All right, let me get my baby over here a big. There she goes. So, I see, Miss Pamela, you have 99 thumbs up. <gasps> well, I need more than that. Wait, yes, uh -oh. <laughs> y'all, listen. I If we see at least 150, I'll bring butters out. Hey, oh, thank you, baby. Butters, the fuzzy wuzzy cat. Hey, if we get to 150. Okay? Just letting y'all know that. And hi to everyone that said hi to me. I didn't want to um, speak when Miss Pamela was doing her countdown. I see it in the chat. People saying hi. Oh, you see 110 thumbs up? Well, dang it. Let me go back in. <laughs> wow, that went to 127 really fast. <laughs> Because yes, I had to refresh and I was only at 99. I think sometimes it takes a minute to catch up or something. Well, that's fine. 150 and you're golden. You get to see the cat. Okay. Let me show you something quickly. I have a little lot of panda bears. Who likes panda bears? Mm -hmm. I have these little vintage made in Japan panda bear shakers. One of them doesn't have his little stopper. And you get this little panda bear, like Christmas ornament. So you get all three of these for $12 and it's number 50. Oh, how cute. All three for $12, number 50. Number 50. <laughs> Where is all the numbers? There, from? Barbara Riggs. I think they're trying to tell you the thumbs up uh, amount. Oh, good. But everyone is delayed behind, you know, to have different speeds and see different things. So, all right. So I have Barbara Riggs. Thank you so much. I'm going to write your name down and you will get added into the giveaway. I didn't even show my giveaway item. They don't even know. They don't even know what it is. Do you oh want to see God. the giveaway item? Is it is it a surprise? Uh, no. It's oh my gosh! Beautiful swan. Aaron went and picked it from my stash. That's pretty. That is pretty. So that's the giveaway item. If you buy something today. Okay. I'm gonna teach you, cat. I'm good. You can make your head big now. Oh, okay. Hey, again, y'all. Okay. Up next, I have this um, King Leo peppermint tin. And it's just really pretty. I like to use these at Christmas time. It's in really good condition. Uh, the bottom is real worn on it. 
you know, like from, I guess, sliding around on something because the sides and everything's real good. The top is real good. And the in the inside has oh. got a couple of spots in it, but it's not, you know, not anything really bad. But these are just really cute to have and say it's kind of big. Let me do a Christy here. You know, the head, the head size. But it's just really fun because it's peppermints, you know, and it's got the little peppermint sticks everywhere. Fun to put out, but it's not something that you have to use only at Christmas either. But the little um, King Leo candy tin is $16 and it's number 23. $16, number 23. Oh, they had some bad weather up in Canada too. Oh, that's not good. No. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Pamela 13. Okay. Oh, okay. Kelly. Hey, I'm getting a. I'm getting a. I still have you up on the screen holding the can, so there's a long delay. Oh. So what was your number again, and your price? Twenty three. Twenty three. Number six. Ten, uh, tw number twenty three for sixteen dollars. For oh, the yeah, Christmas yeah. ten. I was waiting to see if you got any more because you were really delayed on oh. my screen anyway. So, thank you, Michelle. Okay, what am I going to do? How about this thing? I think me and my sister picked this guy. What did my mom call this? Oh, goodness. If she's still in here, she'll be able to tell me. Oh, you guys will probably know. Look at this little birdie in this little frame. Uh oh, we got to 150. Okay. Woo! Woo! We will get butters. But what is this? Whatever this is, this bird, this guy here, it's in this old frame. They use the, the soda cap method like I do to hang it up when they don't have the backing. That's needle point, baby. Is it? That's what I thought my mom said earlier. Yeah. So this, um, it's framed in glass, this bird. It's $14 and it's number 49. Aaron's looking for butters for you guys. $14, number 49. That's pretty. Hey, the niche lady. Oh, that's squeakers. They do my squeakers. They don't know that. Yes, they do. They know butter. <laughs> well, what about him? Doesn't he deserve some love? He does. I love a calico cat. Aren't, aren't, isn't that a calico? Yes. No, he's a tuxedo cat. A tuxedo cat. The calico <laughs> cats have that amber and white and black mixed in and they're most uh -huh. all, all the time mostly always female so that's number 49 for the niche lady we will write her name down Aaron again is finding butters so you can she he said you can go he's gonna go find them okay all right baby okay up next I have a uh, beautiful Christmas tree pin it is two and a half inches long. It's gold tone. It's unmarked. There's no marking on it whatsoever. But it's got a real prong set glass um, stones in it, red and green. And it's got a clear rhinestone up in the middle of the star. And like I said, it's two and a half inches. Woo! I just stuck my baboobsies in the pen. <laughs> just stuck. My boobs is with the pen. It's going to be a bad day. Good thing I ain't got any plants. But um, that's how big it is up there. Um, you know, it's, it's it'll be a showy pen. Be a showy one. And this beautiful, beautiful Christmas tree pen. See how it little sparkles? Just really pretty. It's, pretty. it's $14 and it is number one. $14 number one. <laughs> I love vintage 66. Oh, thank you, baby. I love vintage 66. Well, you have like, quite a few people like that one. Oh, well, good. I'll know to get some. I'll get some more of those. Oh, there he is. Buddy, bud. Say hi. I love, I love vintage 66. 
Look at Buddy. Oh, oh sweet. Oh, pretty kitty. Say hi, guys. It's almost time for me to run amok. <laughs> How sweet is that? All right. You got hair everywhere. Bye. Bye. You're going to wave his paw? You're going to give him a kiss? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to roll with Miss Pamela's brooches. I have two. They're going to be together in one. I was going to do them separately, but then I was like, uh oh, then I'll have to put something back. So I'm just going to lock them together for you guys. So these two gorgeous brooches are going to be an offer up. And I'm starting them at $20. So you get both starting at $20. I was trying to wipe my fingerprints off of them because I was touching them and feeling them up. <laughs> okay, yes, we have Sandy at 30. So here's the backs. I'm trying not to touch the stones. Backs. And here's the fronts. We have Leanne C at 35. Sandy's at 40. I'll measure it for you. It's a big honker. That's it's about two and a half inches long. Uh, Sandy's at 50. Going over 50, it's $5 increments. And I just touched all over it again. Those are gorgeous. Leanne is at 55. Good. Yeah, I couldn't believe that when I was in the booth, I found two that were like exactly the same shape. It must be like when ladies love a pair of shoes and they buy them in every color. Like, right. Or a pair of shorts or something. These fit so well. I'm going to buy them in every color. All right. So Sandy's at 60. Let us know if you're out. Who was it? was Leanne. That was with Sandy. Leanne's out. Okay. So we're going to do $60 going once. $60 going. No, they're not signed. I don't see anything on them. Here's the backs again. $60 going twice. Did I say twice? Okay, we're just going to say sold. Sorry. I'm trying to answer questions. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to say sold, and then we'll see what pops up. Okay, nothing else. So we have Peterson Stop, and we have $60 for four Sandy's Lilacs. And that is number 44. Congratulations, Sandy. Those are gorgeous. They're beautiful. I know you about fell out of your chair when I showed them to you earlier. <laughs> All right. So we have $60 and your name will be added, Sandy. And I am done. You can. There you go. Okay. All right. But next I have two sets that I'm, well, it's going to be sold together. It's eight uh, brand new in the box. Department 56. Uh, poinsettia napkin rings. They're metal. And um, they are um, two-toned. They're gold and silver mix. And they are just, I mean, they're brand new. <laughs> but they are so pretty. They're just real shiny. And they're not flimsy. They're like real hard. You know, they can't be. You just dropped them all. <laughs> They're not flimsy. Yeah, it's a good thing they're not flimsy. But um, I was going to try to get one of them up here so you could see it good. They've got the little, um, the outside leaves are silver and the inside leaves are brass colored. And then all of the rings are silver. And it's just, they're just really pretty and pretty big. But you get the whole, um, all eight of them for one price. Let me see if I can get this back in here. Oops. No, nope, I'm not going to be able to get them back in there. All eight of them for one price. And it is number five for $18. <laughs> I had to get that quick, Kelly. <laughs> number five for $18. <laughs> oh, yes. We missed you today, D. You can use those if people make, like, wreaths and stuff. You can probably even like snip the that that like take the flower part off and use uh -huh. them in, like wreaths or jewelry trees or whatever if you don't want to use them as napkin rings. The poinsettia part, I mean, it is really really pretty. 
and you wouldn't think, I mean, and I guess what drawed me to them was that they were, um, oh, thank you, Sandy, was that they were two-toned. I love uh, gold and silver together. Oh, back on me. Oh, where's Sandy's line? There's such a delay on my tablet compared to the screen, so I didn't realize it was back to me. Okay. What do we, Betty, you want to pick something for me to do next? Oh, yes. Do I really two? like this. Oh, easy, killer. You like that? All right, let me see this sticker. All right, so Gabriel picks, this is another big honking thing, picks this beautiful blue. I wish you could see, it's like blue and clear paperweight, and it's a big one. See how big that is in my hand? Now, they did put little, it's, it's not polished on the bottom, and they did put little feet on it to, like, set on the surface. This one's $14 and it's number 31. $14, number 31. How heavy? It's heavy. It's a bigger paperweight. You know, like a paperweight. Okay, I have <laughs> Lori Potter and you get entered. So number 31, Lori Potter. Thank you so very much. Hi, Blue Flamingo. Hi. Hi, Blue Flamingo. Okay, my next item is going to be an offer up, and it's going to start at $20, and it is this homemade uh, centerpiece. It is a little Chanel, uh, no, what do you, Chanel pipe cleaner Christmas tree, and it's made with all these little miniatures everywhere, and I mean, it's so old. I think this is probably from the 60s, from the looks of all these things on here. Uh, she's made a tree skirt for it. Oh, that's cute. And with the little gold trim around it. And then she's got little bitty miniature toys all around the bottom of the tree. There's a little train going right here, a present. And then every once in a while, she's put like crystals and stuff on the ends of the uh, branches to shine, but it's just loaded down full of general. Is it 22? All kinds of little miniature. Bar, is it 23? Randy? All kind of little bitty, you know, Randy, is it 25? Ornaments and stuff. There's a sleigh. I know. Look at the little D deer. is made from pipe cleaners. They made the entire tree from pipe cleaners and then yeah. glued vintage little ornaments and trinkets all the way around. It's, it's the like, chenille pipe cleaners, though, not like the scruffy ones or the glitter ones. It's those soft ones that they made yeah. those the little beaded dolls and stuff out of back in the day. It's little bitty tiny things like um, but it's a pretty good size. But it well, let me see, just see how tall it is. The high bid is Randy Hyman at twenty five. It's seven inches tall and it is seven and a half inches wide at the skirt down here. But like, see, look at the little angel. I mean, it's just it's just covered in little things, little bells. There's an old plastic Santa in a sleigh and the snowman and doves. Just really, really pretty. All right. So Randy Hellman has the high bid at 25. Okay. Randy has the high bid at 25. So if there's um, no further interest or if you're out, you can say you're out. So we're going to say going once. Oops. Shoot. Going once to Randy at 25. Going twice to Randy at 25. I got it. And we're going to sell to Randy at $25. Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you, Randy, girl. That is awesome. so cute. So very cute. Thanks, y'all. Let's see. Oh, there's an Alex right there. Okay. There's me right there. All right. <laughs> the next thing I have is this painting. We got this today. Um, it doesn't, it's not in a frame, but it's an actual painting. And I didn't see, it's not signed or anything like that. 
like on the front or the back. But it's probably like eight by 10 size. It's a beautiful little piece. This one is going to be uh, $14 and it's number 39. If this was a snowy cabin, it would be mine. <laughs> but it is not. $14, number 39. Debbie Wilmarth. Wait, nope, nope. Wait, she typed in 14. Ugh. The first person who got it right was Annette Fane, number 39. So it goes to Annette Fane. To be fair, she typed in the correct number first. Okay, so Annette gets added. Thank you very much, Annette. And I'm done. Oh, sorry. You're okay. Okay. <clears throat> Up next, I have a beautiful brooch. It is a faux pearl and crystal um, brooch. You can wear it either way. You can wear it up or down or sideways. It's pretty showy too. Like me and this, me and this camera, me and this camera. But it is just really, really pretty. <laughs> just really pretty. And the faux pearl and rhinestone brooch is $12 and it's number 16. $12, number 16. Hey, Katie. Hey, Katie Bug. And Christy. Christy's here too. Hey, Christy. Gia Schaefer, you got number 16. Thank you, Gia. Number 16. Yeah, that was funny, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> For 16. Okay, just reading. Um, you can add snow blue, but I don't anything. I don't know what that's in reference to, but yes, add glitter to whatever you want. Oh, your picture. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm. This is true. You can add the, the, the glitter. Okay. These are so cute. This we got today as well, actually. It's a little ashtray and it says, who left this behind? And you would put the cigarette butts here and it's little a little clothesline and it says matches and cigarettes. So you'd put your matches in here and your cigarettes right here. And it's a piece of luster wear. And it says, well, let me take my information off. Made in Japan. It's stamped and marked in blue. Very cool piece of luster wear. It's $14 for this piece. Let's see if you can see that. Matches cigarettes. $14 and it's number 27. Yet, yeah, well, yes, it has a match strike on the side right there. I just saw your little comment. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like it too. I thought it was, I don't know. They're so like corky back in the day. Okay, so nobody for $14, number 27? <laughs> nobody? How about $12, number 27? <laughs> Twelve dollars, number twenty-seven. Papa Sigs. Okay, I don't see anybody. You can go ahead. Okay. Oh wait, I see Leanne. Oh, Leanne. Oh, thank you, oh. Leanne. All right, now I'm good. Let me just make sure I change the price so I don't forget. To invoice her the proper price. There you go. Okay. Up next, I have an offer up, and it is for a uh, vintage made in Italy nativity scene. Ooh. It's starting at $28. Here is the crash or the manger. And here is Joseph. Look Mary. at those ladies there with my shirts on. And the baby Jesus. And they are all stamped on the bottom. Made in Italy. Here's the baby Jesus in his beautiful little. I mean, the Italian ones are just, I mean, 
they just don't make them like I'm getting the right. Here's another one. And then this is Joseph and Mary. There's the two of the little angels that go with it. And did you say you're a starting price? Uh, 28. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Now it came through. You have Patricia Gessner at 28. And it's got two of these camels, the big, big old camels. You know, made in Italy. Here's the cow. I, I can't tell where I'm getting here. <laughs> I know, it's like a white thing. The cow. One of the kings. Another king. Let me see how many pieces it is. A wise man or a king. You have a shepherd. Let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve characters and the manger and baby Jesus. And it's just all made in. Um, oh, I've lost track. Looks like Lisa's got. Oh, Patricia's at 32. Linda Dickerhoff is at 34. <clears throat> plus the manger thing. Plus all of these beautiful animals. The two um, angels. Lisa is at 35. The camels. All three of the. Where's the other king? Let me get them together. Then the word is at 40. Thank you. It's a lot to hold up. All the angels together and the wise men or the kings. Let me hold mine in front real quick. And then Joseph. Lisa's out. Patricia's out. So you, you had Zenzord at 40. Okay. Zenzord's at 40. And then there's Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. Linda's out. Okay, let's see. Hey, Natester. How are you, darling? Hey, Nate. Um, okay, let me see who had it. Zenzord at 40. Zenzord's at 40. Zenzord's at 40. So if there's um, no other interest past 40 with Zen... We're going to say going once. The Zen Zord for 40. Going twice to Zen Zord for 40. Oops. Oh, doggone it. And we're selling it to Zen Zord for $40. Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you, Zen. Thank y'all so much. This is a beautiful set, honey. You're going to love it. Get Alex back up there, okay? All right. We have this beautiful red, uh, I believe it's an ashtray, another ashtray, but you can have it like this. Yeah. Um, if you paint and do anything like that, you can use it for your paint brushes. You can... I don't know. Whatever you want to use it for, it's beautiful. It's red, this nice red on the inside that has some white mixed in on the outside. There's the bottom. That's it pretty. is, yeah, I thought so too. A very mid century Christmas. <laughs> it's about five inches wide and about three, no, two and a half inches tall. It would help if I would hold the ruler up straight. <laughs> It's $15 and it's number 38. $15, number 38. I see Margaret Albers. Oh, a few people liked that one. Cool. All right, so we have Margaret Albers for number 38. Thank you so very much. Um. Yes, she is. I see her name. And I'm all done. Okay. 
All right. Up next, I have a combination uh, brooch and necklace. And I do have the chain for you to have it. It is marked, but it says best. I'm not familiar with that. Um, it's written in cursive down there at the bottom. B-E-S-T. But this is a very heavily, heavy and well-made piece. It's a pendant as well as a brooch. Very stylized. And uh, like I said, I, I will include a chain for you um, with it as well. So you could wear it either way. But I just wanted you to see how well made it was on the back. And dimensionals, like you can see through it. Like you would be able to see your the color that you're wearing. Daggone this thing. The color that you were wearing through the tree. And this beautiful brooch uh, necklace is $18 and it's number six. $18 number six. I don't Lucinda, you need to be funny. <laughs> okay, let's see. Daddy got that one. The thrill of the thrill. Thank you, baby. Okay. Thanks, D. All right. I have this cute little set. I found this today again. <laughs> found it today. So when we were shopping with Danny, we had very, we were very uh in the eBay mindset and like antique booth mindset. So we were looking and we we're like, crap, we don't have anything for our sale. So that's what mom and I did today was focused on having things for the sale. So I thought these were so stinking cute. It's, it's, it's made out of clay. It's pottery. It's a little handmade mama rooster and oh. her, her little baby roosters, her little baby chickens. Uh, so it'd be a mama chicken, not a mama rooster. <laughs> but that's what she looks like. I just love it. The black and the white and the red. And then the little babies. They're all handmade. Like I said, they're like a pottery clay. You get all four pieces for $15. And it's number 30. For Mama Mama Hen. Aww. And her and her babies. Fifteen dollars, number thirty. I know they're so freaking cute. Oh, we have Lori Potter. Ooh, ooh that was a oh. good. That's cute, Lori. I think it's so cute. I'm like digging, um, like Italian, uh, uh like pottery, like figurines and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah. like seeing the little animals, I just love it. Oh. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Up next, I have a little lot of vintage um, Christmas ornaments. This little lady is from Christmas Wonderland. She's got her little Made in Japan sticker on the back, and she's still in the package. She's a little flocked angel with a candle. Then I have this Made in Japan. He's still got his part of his little sticker on there. Knee hugger elf with the cute little face, and he is just oh in God, absolutely so wonderful condition. I mean, absolutely wonderful condition, very clean, very good. And then I have now I put him in here. I had a I found a bunch of these red flocked reindeer, and I put them inside these little bags that I pack jewelry in sometimes to tr keep them clean and free of the lint and stuff because I had a bunch of, I had some chenille bedspreads I was messing with and that lint was just getting all over everything. So I put them in here. So it's a vintage red flock deer ornament, the little uh, angel baby still in her package and the knee hugger elf from Japan. And you get all three of these vintage Christmas ornaments for $20 and they're number 21. $20, number 21. Hey, Randy, Mr. L. Page. Hey, Dan, I don't know if I said hey to you either. And hey, Christine Jones. Susan K., you got that one. Thank you, baby. 
this is Susan K. So I'll go back over to Miss Alex. Um, I see them trying to alert me, saying that they they want. Um, they're trying to tell me that Cindy wants to pay for Dee's brooch, but Dee bought it from you. Okay, all right. So I think Which you're the Cindy? one. It said Cindy Neal wants to pay for Dee's brooch. You got it, Cindy Neal. Thank right. you, baby. What's okay? So I have a little offer up. I think this is my last. No, it is not. I have one more offer. So we have the signed bird, the blue bird. And I can't decide if it said Leo. Usually Leo Ward's name. I think it's the one with the R. Uh, Ron, Ron, Ray. Ron Ray. Ron Ray, yeah. So this guy is going to start at $14. Ron Ray. And it's dated... Gosh, that's so tiny on this one. Why do you write so small? All I see is a three at the end. So it could be 93, 83, but it starts at $14. We have Barbara at 15, Sherry at 16. And this one is well, from his tail to his nose, about four inches ooh, that way. And he's about two and a half inches tall. We have Barbara at 20. I don't know if this guy glows. I didn't check. So he might glow. You never know. All right, guys, let us know if you're out. We have Barbara at $20. Sherry's at 21. Those are so cute. They are. I just sent Peterson. She had been looking for a cardinal for a long time. And I just sent her, well, we just sent her a cardinal. And Erin sent her a special message in her package, if you didn't see Peterson's Instagram. I did not, but I'll have to look. You'll have to the go look. Ones, the red ones are so hard to find. Yes. Um, okay, we have Sherry at 24. And it does glow, Peterson, if you have yourself a flashlight. I told Peterson, I told Aaron, I said, I think she likes that more than the bird. <laughs> he said, I think she does. I'm like, your note got front stage, like refrigerator <laughs> magnet, you know, like front and center. <laughs> okay, Sherry's out. Barbara's at 28. So, um, how did I get my eyes to match my shirt, my eye color or my eye shadow? <laughs> okay, so $28 going once, $28 going twice, okay, and we're going to say sold. Well, my eye color is mine. I don't wear contacts. It is my own, <laughs> so I can't choose what that is. Okay, so I see Peterson's stop, and we have actually Lori Gerdo at $29. So she gets added to the giveaway. Thank you so much, Lori. And that's number 40 if you need to write that down for your items you win. Congratulations, Lori. At $29. And the uh, makeup palette is a, it's like an all green Makeup palettes called like Green with Envy or something like that. And it's from my BoxyCharm makeup subscription. BoxyCharm. Yes. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, this next um, finished Christmas item is an offer up and it's starting out at $18. And it is this new old stock tacky plastic Christmas candle ring with a bonus gold glitter Santa pick. And this says it was from Grants in, I guess it's North Carolina. I don't know. But it's made and distributed by WT Grant Company, New York. And it will hold um, a three by five candle and the plastic thing. Well, I can just take it out of the box. You can see. It's still got the little tag on it, but I took the tag off to dust it. So, 
but this is the candle thing, the candle ring, full of pine cones, red berries, and um, it's wired on this plastic thing, and it has a little cup, uh, a hard plastic cup in here that you can put two different sizes of candles will fit down in there. It's nine inches across and it's three and a half inches tall or deep. Let me put that back on there before I lose it. And you get the gold glitter vintage Santa pit in with it. And, oops, Christy was at 18. Christy's at 18. Let me put that back there. And it is just cute as it can be. Let me get Santa down in here. Whoop. Poor Santa. He's like, what have you done to me, Pam? What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like, let's see. Well, Disco Santa's, yes, yes. Disco Santa. He said it's too, it's too hot in Alabama. I got to get out of here. <laughs> Pamela, are you from North Carolina? No, baby, I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Black Dog Vintage said Liberace Santa. <laughs> okay, so if there's no further interest past $18, we're going to say going once at $18, going twice at $18, and we're selling for $18 to Christy, my sweet Christy Garza Tippy Wink. Thank you, baby. <laughs> D said Santa Rachi instead of yes, Santa Rachi. Yes, Santa Rachi. Okay, let's see. Are, Are we, we ready? ready? Okay, I found this beautiful uh, glass vase here. Look at that. Look at that. They call all that sparkly stuff gold stuff adventuring if I remember correctly um it does have a little little chip right there right there but it's still beautiful here's the bottom oh my gosh it's stunning I love it but anyways this little guy because of the little chip on the top and it's not like little little but it's not giant either um it's about five and three quarters inches tall. It is $12 and it's number 36. Oh, Pamela Hammett. Miss Pamela can get added, babe. <laughs> All right, Miss Pamela. Okay. Oh, Miss Pamela, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. All, all the Pamelas are here. Okay, up next I have a um, crafting or cutter lot of uh, vintage linens. I have, I mean, so they're in good condition, but one, a, a couple of them has stains on them, so I'm just selling them for a crafting lot. It's this one. This, um coin pattern this is one of the ones that has uh let me see this one had a stain on oh yeah yeah like see right there this is a uh, dresser scarf um then we have this one and it also has a small stain somewhere oh right that oh gosh right about in there then this uh, my phone is reminding me that it, i need to go to bed <laughs> <laughs> this one is um gorgeous but it has like a uh two small little holes right there and then it's this quilted i guess this was made for a doll or something at one time it's a old feed sack quilt with the uh, Dresden plate uh, pattern and then this old lace. And I mean, this is just so soft. It's just like butter. 
but um, it's, you know, threadbare in places, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know why anybody would have, because it's finished. See, it's not like it would have been a, um, it's finished on the edge. Like this is all that they were going to do with it to make it. But all of this, these doilies and linens and stuff. Oh, shoot. Christina Hager, that's an awesome first purchase for her. Huh? Um, oh, it's $18 and it's number nine. $18, number nine for the um, craft lot of vintage linens. Hey, Monica. Patricia, yes. Thank you, Patricia. Number nine. Eight, oh. Thank you You're so right. much, baby. I'm forgetting about Alex on here. Okay. Um, I can decide what I want to do. I need... I don't know what I need. I don't know anymore. Okay. I have this these gorgeous who likes these like oh the rocks and the stones and stuff look at that kelly bianca loves these things too but it's a big piece of it see it's about the size of my hand um this piece i don't gosh i don't remember the name of course i don't because why would i um but it's a big honking piece of rock it's $15 and it's number 29. $15, number 29. Yeah, I think it's just a quartz. Yeah, that's what I think. It's just a, it's a, inside of a geode, but quartz. Yeah. So if there's no interest, Bianca might have a new rock. Bianca might have a new rock. <laughs> Carrie, right. the rock collector. Oh, wait. We have Patricia Gessner. Beautiful. All right. Congratulations, and Patricia. Let me see. Oh. She gets added. Yeah, she gets added. It's like a white color. Not yellow. It's like a crystally white color. You can go <laughs> ahead and switch. I was just answering their question. Okay. Up next, I have this little um, set of salt and pepper shakers and their little elf shoes. They're um, stamped on the bottom, Japan. And they are the uh, cold uh, painted red so if you were to um wash these you have to be very careful because see like right there on that one how the red has got it off in a spot right there so you would have to be very careful washing them but they are just so cute with the little stars on the ends of the toes just a cute little set of salt and pepper and they're other than that right there that spot right there where the red is off of it they're in absolutely great condition absolutely precious and the little uh elf shoe salt and pepper shakers are twelve dollars and they're number three twelve dollars number three hi sheila <laughs> patricia got that one thank you patricia yeah those are really cute Okay, let's see. Boop, there's Alex. There I am. Okay, this has, I would say it's more a chip in the glaze than in the, well, it did take a little bit of the paint off, but it's like, it's not a big honking chip out of the ceramic. It's like the, the glaze came off and it took a little bit of the paint with it. I don't, it's hard to explain, but it's a beautiful piece. It's not signed. It's kind of reminiscent of Italian pottery, but then when I look at it on the bottom, it doesn't look like it to me. Um, looks sort of Mexican, but then it's not signed. And then it looks like Grecian. <sighs> 
Turkish pottery, Polish pottery, but it's not signed. So it's one of those things. So you see that right there? It's like it took a bit of the glaze off and it took the color with it. So there's that on it. But I think it's, I love it. That's nice. It is about seven and a quarter inches tall. It's $12 and it's number 32. $12. Yep, that's another one. Portuguese pottery. <laughs> yep. All, uh, it just says all kinds of stuff, but it's not signed. So $12, number 32. Hi, Bria Gia. Bria Gia. Okay, you can go ahead and I'll watch and see if I can okay. through. Okay, up next I have this very old, vintage, beautiful brooch. It Ooh, is look at that. absolutely stunning. Um, I, I can't even begin to tell you what this looks like in person. I mean, and all of the stones are prong set. They're all beautiful and just as clear as they can be. And the back, see how... It's got the riveted down here, the big stone, and the other ones are riveted. And then the back of it is just pulled up with this um, where they're mounted. And the little um, disco ball things hanging the, uh, holding the pearls on is just, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just amazing to me. And it's very unusual. Okay, let me get, get this over like this. Really, really pretty brooch. Absolutely gorgeous. That would look good in like wedding day hair, prom hair. You can oh, like yeah. Fasten it into your hair. Oh, it would look so good on the back. Yes. You know, hanging down exactly. in the back of somebody's head. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right, Alex. That would be gorgeous. But this beautiful vintage brooch is $24 and it is number 12. $24, number 12. Yeah, Virginia on the arm of a coat. Pam Avery. Pam Avery. Thank you, darling. I appreciate that. I don't know what I did with this envelope, baby. Oh, I'm back. I'm sorry, Alex. You okay? All right, the next thing we have is now we have this hand-painted oh. per perfume bottle. Now, you know, these, they look, a lot of them look antique, but you can find some that are hand-painted and marked 1986. But it's not dated. It is signed. It's not dated. So I can't guarantee you that it's some um, fantastic antique, though it's stunning. Just be mindful, you know, people were still really into painting these sorts of ceramics in the 80s. So um, I just can't really date it for you. So you'd be your best judgment on it. Okay. There's the flowers. And the signature is right there. M-O-N. So... This guy, this perfume bottle is $18 and it's number 48. $18, number 48. I don't know how on earth they did that, but that is amazing. How they painted all those flowers. On I don't know either. I mean, they're, it's beautiful. Pamela Hammett, number Whoa. 48. Pamela, that was so That's much. pretty, girl. Yes, thank you, Miss Pamela. All right, I am done. You can okay. Have. Up next, um, we have a vintage um, hand quilted quilt. It's going to be an offer up and starting at $45. It is 72 by 82. 72 by 84, I'm sorry. This is the back of it. It's a solid red and white. Uh, well, you can't really see the white. It's a red ticking like a ticking fabric. The other side is like oh, look at um, that. pinwheels. Virginia, do you see this quilt? Um, it's a pinwheel design. 
it fits my uh it fits my full queen bed but it doesn't hang that far off of the sides that much off of the sides i don't see any stains mm -hmm. or tent wear oh yeah 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 i'm sorry tell you found one there is a stain right here now i washed this before i i didn't realize it had that stain on it and i have not tried my to get mom that at 65 dollars um, I have not tried to get that out. So, um, but I did launder it, but I, I just didn't notice that when I laundered it. And it is just a very, this, I had not seen this um, quilt pattern before, but the woman had told me that it was called a, a spin wheel, a spinning wheel. I'm not sure. Oh, like those ones you would blow as a kid and they would. Yeah. Been with your breath. That's, yeah. yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Let's see who's my mom. Tenderfoot art is at sixty-five dollars. Tenderfoot art is at sixty-five. So we are. If there's no further interest, passes sixty. A pinwheel. That's it. Pinwheel. Um, yes, uh, Tenderfoot Art has it at 65, so we're going to say going once at 65 with Tenderfoot, going twice at 65 with Tenderfoot, and I'm going to sell it to Tenderfoot for $65. Thank you so much, Robin. <laughs> Thank All you right. for being on it for me, too. Those are her colors for sure. Oh, uh, really? Uh-huh. She likes those, uh, what does she call them? They're, they're more like warm tones. Oh, good. Like very autumn -y colors she likes. Well, Robin, I'll try to get that. Uh, I'll treat that and try to get that out before I send it to you, baby. Let's see. Get Alex back. Ooh, I'm here. Okay, let me put that down. Ooh, I'm back. Okay, I have a fishy, a fishy paperweight with fishies inside his noggin. Fishies with fishies. This is a bigger guy. Look at my hand. Ooh. And it's got my fingerprints all over it, of course, but a fish with fish. This guy's $15 and he's number 41. $15, number 41. Nope. $15, number 41. Oh, yep. She got it second time. Okay, cool. So we have decor and more. And I think you can add her. And then I am complete. Okay. Okay. Up next, I have a little fairy lamp that is going to start at... um. Ooh, fairy lamp. $18, and it is a little one, and it's the twin to the one I had, I think, week before, last week. It's the Tierra. It's baby blue. It's got the little um, etched flowers and the basket, weave, the lattice weave all over the outside of it. It's in absolutely perfect condition, and it's six, let's see, five and a half inches tall. The top has a little, uh, the little petal looking bloom around the outside and it's scalloped on the bottom of the top. The bottom of the lamp is just um, straight, you know, just without any scallops or anything. Debbie Will Martha 18, Miss Lori's at 20. And it's just so, so pretty with all these little details in it. Oh, thank you, Midge. Angela said, this is the color blue I'm looking for, y'all. But I don't need another fairy lamp right now. You want this ice blue looking, Angela. Oh, ice blue and stuff. Debbie Wilmark is at $22. Okay. Lori is at $24. Okay. 
Okay, Angela, you want glass like this color? Debbie Wilmark, is it 25? Thank you, Nettie. Bye, Jerry. Yes, Pamela Joe. Okay. Miss Debbie Wilmark has a high bid at 25. Okay, so we're going to, if there's no further interest in uh, past $25. Oh, wait, there's Lori, Blue there's Flamingo, Lori back 30. in at 30. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Chrissy, I think you're on a delay, baby. Debbie Wilmoth is at, is at 32. 32. It's okay. It's okay, Chrissy. Honey, believe me, mm -hmm. I know your pain on this. Uh, hey, Michelle. Hey, Michelle, how are Debbie you doing? Debbie Wilmoth is a high bid at 32. Now, Miss Lori is coming in at 35. I have to refresh a lot, too, Chrissy. Uh yeah, keep it to me. Before I have to use it on you. High bid is Miss Lori at Blue Flamingo with $35. All right, so um let's so see. If there's uh, no further uh interest past thirty five. Yeah. We're going to say going once to Blue Flamingo at 35. Going twice to Blue Flamingo at 35. And we're going to sell it to Lori Blue Flamingo for $35. Thank you so much, darling. Oh, Miss Debbie Wilmer, oh, turn me away. She is it was before after, the? She was after the soul. Uh, Auntie Gabby, it was a, a ruler, her ruler. I was about to get spanked with the ruler. But she was sounding it like a flip-flop was what was aggravating the snot out of me. <laughs> put it on, uh, Alex. Thank y'all so much. Oh, put it on, Alex. Sorry. 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 Uh, you're okay. <laughs> okay, so I have this beautiful piece of art glass, this little basket here. Um, I was, like, cleaning it up. And it got snagged on my little towel here. So there is, on this petal, you can't see it really, but I can feel it, that the little petal chipped off. So for that, I'm going to change it to an offer up. And it's going to start at, oh, I feel another thing. Good night, D. Good night, D. Good night, Deidre. Hope you get some rest, baby. That looks like... In glass, when they make the glass, that looks like that was a bubble, and the bubble popped. But so know that it has a, a couple little flaws. But know this as well: it's going to start at eight dollars. It glows like nobody's business. It glows. Do you have my um? I oh no, I I could have grabbed it. The remote. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, look, that's what I saw. Do you see that glowing? Okay, well, then show it. Just know that it has, like I said, a couple little issues. Turn your mic off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, if you're going to, like, you don't want to say nothing out loud. No, Lord, no. Live. <laughs> So we have Sandy at 15. I mean, I think it's so beautiful, but I just lowered the price when I saw that. And it is a new light we got. Yes, it's a new light. And I wanted to tell you guys about it. It's great. So, okay. Well, it's dark. All right, perfect. Where'd I go? See ya. I know Aaron's got a headache. <laughs> okay, so we have Sandy at 20 in my back. Wow, that's really delayed because I've been back for a while. There we go. Um, Sandy's at 20. Ooh, that's really got really bright. That's a little better. Ooh, eyeballs. Okay, so Sandy's at $20. No smoking out there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so I don't know if, if it, we have this delay, so I'm gonna wait a second. For people to let me know that they're out. Okay, so we're at $20. So $20 going once, <laughs> Mary, she remembers. $20 going twice. Oh, Christy is at 21. Again, look, this is our giant light that we got. We bought new ones because the other ones, the the bulbs weren't right. So we're at four Sandy's Lilacs is at 24. I would shine it straight at it, but I don't want to go blind. So you can see that it glows. <laughs> see? Yep, Sandy's at $24. Yeah, the, this one, Amazon, yes. Okay, Christy's out. So, $24 going once. $24 going twice. Now I just see spots. We're going to say sold. And we'll see what Peterson says. Um, yes, she is. Okay, so I see four Sandy's Lilacs for $24. And that's number 45. Thank you so much. And it's your turn, Miss Pamela. Congratulations, Sandy. <laughs> okay, um, Gabby Wilm Wilmoth, Wilmoth? Little more, little more. Little more. I'm sorry, baby. Kelly's got it uh, on her screen here where where we saw it on our end. So you can she can show it to I'm you, baby. I'm just going to show it to y'all because I know it. I know I'm, on some of you, it, it came up looking like Debbie came in before the sold. But that's what we saw. That's why we sold it to Lori. That's my screenshot, y'all. Sorry, it happens like that sometimes, but it was below it is why I called it for that, because it was below the sole. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, I had something right here. Thank okay. you for understanding, Miss Debbie. Sorry. Yes, honey, I'm sorry. Um. Up next, I have these new old stock. Um, it says natural beeswax candles, dripless, slow burning, smokeless, and naturally fragrant. But they have holly. They're the twirl kind, the swirly kind, and they have the holly design on them. I just thought they would be so pretty just in a little. These are the I wouldn't burn these. I would just put them in some uh, real pretty candle holders. At Christmas time, or I guess you could burn them. I don't know what they would be like, but I'd put these in my sconces in there probably. But they're just real pretty. They are, I think they're 12 inches tall, but let me measure them with Kelly's flip flop <laughs> just to make sure. Thank you, Miss Lucinda. We try. Yeah, they're best. they're 12 inches tall. And they well, let me take them out of here so you can see because they're um this is a little bit this color the the thing is a little bit this color. See, they're they're off white. You know, they're not that yellowy, that yellowy color. They're just real pretty, like that, and, and um, twirly looking, swirly looking. I guess is what I'm trying to Sorry. say. They are twelve dollars, <laughs> and they're number four. Twelve dollars, number four for the swirly girly candles. Yes, they would. Uh, they <laughs> they would look good in that. Randy Hallman. Yes, Kelly Split Flop of Corrections. You got that right. <laughs> uh, switch to Alex, Mom. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Randy. Alex is still eating a piece of cheese. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't oh, see you, baby. Oh, you're fine. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen me eat snacks. <laughs> okay. I have this really pretty. This is one of those, um, the glass sun catchers. But in this one, you have like a cobalt, you have almost like a blue, like Delphite blue, and you have pink and like coral swirls. 
Obviously, if it was daylight, I'd be able to put it in front of my window for you. But Miss Pamela likes to do things at the in the middle of the night. <laughs> this is $14 for the sun catcher. It's just on this little, it's almost like balloon string, but you can put it on something else. It's handmade. You can see the, the little pond tail back there. Um, it's $14 and it's number 43. And it is four and a half inches long. Oh, Virginia. Virginia, this would look beautiful on your porch. And you'll be added to the giveaway. And Miss Charlotte, Charlotte, why are you awake? Go to bed. Virginia. Hello. Okay, Miss Pamela. That's number 43, Virginia. Well, you know. But we added you to the giveaway. Turn your mic on. Thanks. My next Thanks. item is the offer up, and it is these two handmade beaded ornaments. This one is gorgeous. It's got this silk thread going all the way around it. Blue, white, and gold with the pearls and the sequins and the bugle beads and seed beads. This one is red with the old sequins that come out as a fan light. They are just absolutely gorgeous and in just immaculate, immaculate condition. There is not the first thing in the world wrong with these. And look at the detail on this one. Just absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, they are big. You know, they're both big. Whoops. Hey, Charlotte. How are you, darling? The starting bit on this is $18. Mm -hmm. Now, is that a piece or is that together? No, it's for the set. It's for it's both of them. You know what those remind me of, Miss Pamela? What, baby? You remember those cones Madonna wore on her boobies? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's what that one reminds me of. <laughs> yes, yes. You got oh Madonna, Madonna booby Christmas ornaments. A Madonna <laughs> ornament. A Madonna booby. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, Charlotte, I'm sorry, baby. Bless your heart. Okay. Don't have any takers. Okay, that we don't, don't have any it. takers on that one. So we'll go back to Alex, Alex baby. Eating cheese. <laughs> Eating cheese. I'm sorry, Alex. No, you're fine. Okay. Okay. The next thing I have, I think I have to turn this up. I think I turned it down a little too much. I don't know if you guys can see too well. Um. This has a little wear to its luster, but I thought it was stunning. Anyway, it's like a little trinket dish. It's very deco to me, very art deco. It's Noritake, hand-painted, made in Japan. And there's no um, chips or anything like that. It's just a little, even though the glaze is still on there, I mean, it's just a little worn. But I think it's beautiful. It's very whimsical looking. This this dish is fourteen dollars. It is about seven inches long, so it's a nice size dish. Fourteen dollars, and it's number thirty-seven. And it, the handle looks like it, like a tree branch and a flower. It's really cool. Fourteen dollars, number thirty-seven. I love that color. Isn't that that lavender color on the bottom? Uh -huh. Yes. I love mm -hmm. that. Okay. I'm going to wait a second. I don't see the chat moving. Hmm. Because um, I'm going to say any interest in it for... Um, $10... Number 37, $10. Oh, that is gorgeous. 37. 
I just I like the the whimsy whimsy cool whimsical like ruffles on the edge and stuff. I don't know. Yes. Ten dollars number thirty seven. The color's what got me. You can go ahead. I'll just see if okay. anybody puts it in, comes in and puts it in. Oh, Charlotte did. Yay. And Charlotte, Yay, Charlotte. added to the giveaway. Oh, Charlotte's in the UK. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. No. Okay. Up next, I have some more tacky plastic Christmas. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a garland of um, bells. And it is 104 inches long or eight and a half feet of this garland. And it is just tacky, tacky plastic garland. Best, you could do yeah. anything you wanted to with it. You could cut this up and make your wreath. You could string it through some tacky plastic greenery. You could just do anything you wanted to. Like I said, it's eight and a half feet long and just shiny. And there's really no, there's no wear on it that I can see either like no, like the water, like dampness has gotten to it or anything or worn on it. It's just as pretty and shiny, I guess, as the day it was made. That's awesome. But it's 104 inches, eight and a half feet long of plastic garland. And it's $16 and it's number 14. $16, number 14. Miss Charlotte's <laughs> telling you that she lives by U.S. hours now. <laughs> oh, I can see yes. Yeah. You just about have to, don't you, Charlotte? Bless your heart. Gia Schaefer. Thank oh. you, Gia. I appreciate you, baby. Okay, I'm going back to my cheese eating, buddy. Yeah. Oh, I'm done with my cheese now. Okay. But I have this figurine. Now, we got this today, so I wasn't able to see who it's by, but it does have a name on the bottom. And my my information my tape it almost looks gosh like one of those you know that lego brand it almost looks like one of those round things but i was just trying to wipe her up a little bit because you you i told you i was rushing and running around like crazy okay so i'll wipe her up more before she gets mailed out if someone buys the little girl but here she is She's playing on a little ladder, and the frog stole her slipper, and he's trying to get in her slipper. Oh, how cute. Yeah, she just got really nice paint, her little face there. Here's the back. Um, it says the name of it is At the Fence, but I don't know. You see the maker's gone, and I wasn't able to look it up to see who she belongs to. So let's see. I have this for $12 and it's number 34. $12, number 34. And she's a taller one. She's not, um, you know, she's about five and a half inches tall. But I thought it was so cute that the frog, she's like, oh, come on, man. The frog's getting in her slipper. <laughs> All right. We have Ragdoll Sales eBay Seller. That's who we have. And we already have you in the um the pumpkin bucket for the giveaway so thank you very much i'll write your name down and it is your turn miss pam okay okay up next uh this is going to be a vintage christmas mystery box this is going to be filled with vintage christmas Ooh. and it is also going to come to anybody in the United States, free shipping, and anybody, if anybody wins this that is in the UK or uh, Canada or anywhere, it'll come at discounted shipping. Um, but it'll be slap full of some vintage Christmas, and it's going to be an offer up on the mystery vintage Christmas box. And, oh, shoot. And it's going to start at... $26. Oh, Patricia's already at 50. Huh? Patricia's already at 50. Okay. Well, good. Thank you, Patricia. The box is 11 and a half inches long. Gab Gabrielle, I was about to say Gabriel, is at 60. Eight inches Be wide. 
and four and a half inches tall. And, uh-oh, let me skip this down here. You have Patricia Gessner at 75. Deb's out. Chrissy's out. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, baby. Right, do you do $5 increments over 50? Yeah, we can. Well, yeah, we, we didn't can. say it before. I don't know. You um, might not want to change it. Oh, that's right. I didn't say it. Yeah. I'm Patricia's sorry. at 100. Okay, so we could say at, at a, after 100, $10 increments. Very, that's what I generally say. Okay, good. Patricia, okay. okay, the other ones are out anyway. Okay, okay. thank All you, right. Andrea. Thank, thank you, you so much. We're uh, saying once at 100 for Patricia, going twice at 100 for Patricia. No, she's not playing around, Gary. <laughs> thank you so much. So to Patricia at $100. Thank you so much, Patricia. And thank you, everybody else who has been on it. Well, I think I just typed in a hundred thousand dollars, but I won't hold you to it. <laughs> okay, I will not hold you to that. Thank you so much, y'all. Let me get Alex back up here. That's awesome. Congratulations. Okay, the next thing I have, it's not a box of Christmas stuff. It's just a little girl with her boat, like a planter, a little Dutch girl. She's just a little planter. She says, made in Japan on the back right there. Here's the bottom. Very cute. Just a little girl. She's $12 for the planter, and she's number 35. $12, number 35. Do, 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 do. Let's see if I see anybody. Okay. I'm down to my last one. How many things do you have left, Alex? What do you mean you're down to? I have. Did you count right? I thought I did. I Wait, I have. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. One, two, three. I have four things left, not counting this guy. Okay. Well, I, so I don't see anybody at $12. Do I, I see anybody at $10 for number 35? $10, number 35. $10, number 35. Poor old Alex is past her bedtime. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, my batteries are like, her phone <laughs> okay, I see Gia Schaefer. Thank you, Gia. I think I have to add her, babe. Okay, he's adding you. Thank you very much. Your turn, Miss Pamela. Okay, up next I have this box of vintage um, silver Christmas tree tinsel garland. I believe from the graphics on here that this is from the 1970s, just by the way these people, you know, the way, the stylized way of them, the way the artwork is. And um, it's bright star tinsel. Um, it is 50 feet long or 16 yards. And it's three inches wide, but it's just this tinsel-like, but it's on a garland. It's, it's, and it's all silver. I love it silver. And if you want to, this will not fit in a shoe, in the UPS, in the post office's shoe box. So if you want me to, if you don't care anything about the box, I can ship just the garland by itself. But the um, vintage silver Christmas tree garland is $16 and it's number 18. $16, number 18. Yes, it is late. Mama J. Thank you, Mama J. I appreciate you. And we're going to go back to a sweet pea. Let's see. What number was that? I've got to turn my microphone on. Okay, I have my last offer up. I have this pink glass perfume bottle. This one's going to start at $12. I just thought, I know the other one was hand painted, um, but I just thought there was something about this one. 
I guess I'm a sucker for glass. <laughs> so this one starts at $12. Okay, so we have um, Margaret is at 15. So it's like that depression pink. You see that? Kind of. Yeah. We have Leona Muscato at 16. <laughs> this stands with its stopper. It's about five inches tall with its stopper. We have Margaret at $20. Can you brush your teeth? No, Gabe was taking a shower. Okay. Margaret's at $20. Um, Leona's at $21. Oh, do you, Pamela? There's so many of these out there. Oh, I just love them. You can collect perfume bottles for days. We have Margaret at 25. Uh, Book Bewitched is out. Thank you. I do love saying Leona's name. Just like my mom likes saying Sue Golubeski. <laughs> okay, so Margaret's at 25. Let's send this out. Okay, so I'm going to say, I think that was everybody. Leona's out. Um, okay. So $25 going once, $25 going twice. Okay, and I'm going to call sold. Oh, thank you, BBW. Okay, so I see stop. And above that, the highest one is Margaret Albers for $25. Thank you. I am done. Miss Pamela. Okay. Up next, I have this box of new old stock doe skin napkins. Look at that sweet little deer on there. They're deluxe dinner napkins with the formal fold, extra large size, linen-like softness, superior strength, no laundry bills, and your choice of decorator colors, which this box is going to be pink. Pink napkins inside here, and originally they were 49 cents. Oh, and look at the cool. graphics on the back. So these had to be from the 60s or the 50s. And how they stayed in this shape is beyond me. I mean, y'all have to bear with me on this camera deal. But uh, it's, let's see how many is in here. 60 napkins, two ply, and they'll four, they're 17 by 17 inch, formal folded and ready to use. Pink beautiful with that sweet little deer up there doe skin napkins and this box of vintage napkins vintage pink 17 by 17 napkins for your party or buffet is 15 dollars and they're number 15. 15 dollars number 15. hey teresa bryant hey sandy hey y'all <clears throat> for sandy's lilacs for sandy's lilacs thank you baby those are going to be so cute. Let's see. There's my Alex back. Oh, let me turn this back off. You're muted, Alex. You're muted, baby. Whoopsie. So I picked these up together <laughs> and I lotted them together because they're both Easter themed. Um, sorry, I'm like shaking the table. My camera's on the table today, not up there in the ring light. So if I'm shaking it, I'm sorry. I'm very, I talk with my hands. But, um, anyways, I've lotted these together. And this one is a 1988 Lepton, um, an egg, like a hand-painted egg trinket box. And I know Easter was a while ago, but it'll come again. So we have this hand-painted Lefton 
Easter egg. And then this is very, you guys know like those Kim, Kimple, Kimple, Kimple reindeer. Well, they make bunnies too. Um, I don't think, I don't know if this is a, some, it looks very Kimple-ish to me, but it doesn't say it on there. The little, the little bunny guy. So I'm going to lot both of these together for $12 and it's number, number 26. I couldn't read my own handwriting. Well, actually that's Aaron's handwriting. $12, number 26. And you get both. You get the, the left in trinket box and the Kimple looking bunny. $12, number 26. Oh, Linda Dickerhall. Thank you. And you get added to the giveaway. I'm all done. Thank you, Miss Linda. Oh, she disappeared. There she is. Okay, up next I have this vintage door hanger. It makes noise when you open a door. It's uh, stamped on the back, made in Japan. It's just stapled. This is the um, like an old felt. This is kind of faded, so somebody obviously had this hanging on their door at one time. It's got the four letters that say Noel and just the old brass little bells that um, ring. But I thought it still had some life left in it. If somebody wanted to put it on a door somewhere inside and use it to make some little Christmas noise. And a cute little uh, Noel door hanger bell is $7 and it's number 22. $7, number 22. <laughs> Oops. Lisa. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lisa. I still don't even see that. I'm, I got to refresh. I got to refresh. <laughs> there, now I finally see Lisa's name. Whew. That was delayed. Okay, I have two items left, Ms. Pamela. How many do you have? One. Uh, this, this. You should have. This two things. I don't have any left. I have a give. I have one of my giveaways left. That's it. You counted wrong or something. I did count wrong. Because if I didn't, you let me go first. Yeah. Then you sh oh, wait, I should. No, no, have. no. Look, I do have one more left. I do have one more left. Okay, I was gonna say. I don't know. I, I do. Two, when I do this, I'll have one left. Okay. Or wait, did we number this? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe that didn't get numbered. Let me see. Hold on. Um, actually, I'll do this and then I'll check on that one. Okay. So I don't keep everybody awaiting. This says Minton Bone China, England. And I guess Minton has been making, um, it was founded in 1793. This is not from 1793. I promise you. But it is very cool. I was with my mom and my sister and my sister adored this little picture because it has a snail right there on the handle. It's very like, um, I guess woodsy, very woodland. If you like that theme, it's got like a dang light flower. And then the, the actual thing itself in the, if you look behind the flowers at the pattern, it's like a tree trunk, the tree or the picture was like shaped like a tree. And this is like a, like a branch or a vine or something like that. Darn that light. But anyways, there's the mark. So this guy is, I like it. It's 10 bucks and it's number 46. It's really clean on the inside. $10, number 46. Oak leaves and a snail. Sure. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, she'll be excited because she loved that little snail. Okay, so I see four Sandy's lilacs, and you're already in there, Sandy. Thank you very much. And it's your turn, Miss Pamela. 
Okay. Up next, I have this, um, let's see, I thought I knew when this was from, but I didn't write it down. 1961. This 1961 edition of The Night Before Christmas. And it is in really good condition other than the, you know how some of these books have the plastic coating on it? This one's plastic coating has got some wrinkles in it going across the front here. It looks like scratches, but it's not. It's like where this um, this plastic laminate or whatever has wrinkled up there. But the reason I wanted to go ahead and bring it to y'all was because this particular edition has the um, illustrations done by Grandma Moses in it. And they are just really, really pretty. And I don't know if anybody else likes Grandma Moses the way I do, but I just like the primitive, you know, the way her art is. And it's it's the Clements, uh, the Clement C. Moore. It's his edition of The Night Before Christmas, but it's just illustrated by Grandma Moses. That's awesome. You know, and it's just, I, I just thought it was so different, you know, that, I didn't think anybody would probably have this if there was a collector, you know, of the books and everything. Right, Danny? <laughs> but, I mean, it's just, it's just so sweet. And I don't know, it's just, it, I just love her, her art anyway. So, I guess that's why it touched me. But the 1961 Night Before Christmas with uh, Grandma Moses illustrations is $7.00. And it's number 23. $7, number 23. <laughs> Me too, Linda Dickerhoff. <laughs> Mama J, you got that one, sweetie. Thank you. Mama J. Oh, oh yes. Yes, Kim. Well, now you can go, I guess, to both of us because I this one never got written down. So it was just like, I guess I grabbed one too many. So now it's time for us to do our giveaways. Oh, okay. Aaron's going to bring me my pumpkin bucket. Oh, does sicky Aaron want to pick the new winning name? Oh, his head still is killing him. Okay. So I have this. This is my giveaway to you guys today. I want to say this was in my book that I got while we were shopping with Katie, um, my glass animals book. And I want to say it said, I can't even remember now. Dugan. I forget. Anyways, it does have a company and I'll put a little notation in uh, because when you look online, it's not the same as in the book. People are, I think are just making up <laughs> as they go so anyways that is the giveaway my vintage pumpkin bucket let's see wendy don't go nowhere you might be a winner mm -hmm. i have let's see if she's still here Annette Fain. Oh, Annette. Annette Fain, are you here? <laughs> Danny, right? Are you here, Annette? I don't know if she's here. We'll wait. Um, but you can go ahead with yours. Okay, my giveaway is this um, 60 Greatest Old Time Radio Christmas Shows selected in there, uh, by Andy Williams, and it comes with um, 30 audio CDs, and it's 30 hours of Christmas shows, and it comes with this booklet that kind of tells you a little bit about each show and who's performing it and what the show's about and everything. And it's back when, you know, everything used to be done on radio. And I just thought it would be something very nostalgic for you to get. And it's like, they're all on CDs. And it comes in, you know, this nice little case right here. 
And this says it's from night uh, from 2000. And Kelly Michelle, if you shake that down one more time, I swear to God. Okay, the winner of of it is oh, shoot, Christy Garza. Oh, Christy Garza, you won the radio thing. Congratulations, baby! Yay, Christy Garza. How cool is that? She never wins anything on our little sale, does she? We don't win anything ever either, so I feel her. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and, and draw for my free shipping. Oh, mm -hmm. I got to draw for free shipping for them. That means it has to be. Oh, uh, Kelly, if you shut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, black dog, I'm glad, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Randy, I thought you would I thought me and you was a thing. Gia Schaefer, you got the free shipping this week, baby. Thank you so much. Yay, Gia. Oh! Gia got let me write that down or I'll forget it. <laughs> it seems funny seeing Alex up there without Aaron, don't it? Yeah. It's like a piece of me is missing. <gasps> I don't doubt it, baby. Well, thank you, baby, so much for coming on and doing your sale with me this well, week. Well, thank you for oh, asking And I always me. love having you. Thank you for asking me. And thanks, everybody, for coming and hanging out with Alex and I tonight. We hope yes. you had a good time. I didn't turn into a pumpkin quite yet. <laughs> no, but it, you was getting close, baby, because you're an hour ahead of me. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, it's after 11, or after 11, it's after 10 here. It's 10, 11. Yeah, but, sh I mean, your, uh, your bedtime alarm clock went off a while ago. <laughs> yeah, it goes off about 9. <laughs> you know why? It's because, like, I can go to bed at 10 or 11 and still wake up at, like, 5. Or I can go to bed about 9, 9.30 and then still wake up at 5. So I'd rather sleep. Yes. You know? I don't so I make myself stop. So, anyways, thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you for coming, baby. And thanks, everybody, for coming and hanging out with us tonight. Mwah! We love y'all so much. And remember to pray for everybody that's uh, sick. Uh, Belinda Carroll is supposedly doing okay, but we got to we gotta pray D over this surgery because, yeah. you know, we got to have her back. I missed her so bad today. And Polish Projects and Grimmy the Griffin and D. I think that's all I can think of right now. But I love y'all so much. See y'all later. See you next week. Bye. Bye, everybody.